Hello everyone and welcome back to my video series on the Starship Troopers Terran Command Scenario Editor. Today we are finally answering the question that everyone has been asking since the editor released. How do I use AI? Now AI has a lot of neat functionality that we're going to get into throughout this video. First, it all starts with creating an AI group. Creating a new AI group is simple. First, you open the AI menu, which I did. Then you select which team you want to create the AI group for. So that's these options here. Finally, once you've selected a team, select Add AI Team. Now, before we get further, the last thing you can do is you can double click to edit this team name. So, spoilers ahead, I'm gonna call this Defend Location. All right. Renaming an AI group is necessary because otherwise with a lot of groups, it starts getting a little crazy understanding what group does what and what units belong to that group. So, and it also helps with going back and forth between the triggers and the AI menu. So that way you can better understand what you're doing without having to constantly check. Now that we have our AI group, we're gonna add units to this group. There's two ways to do this. The first way is by clicking the units button and then clicking each unit that you want on that team. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is using a trigger. And then using the trigger effect, unit AI team. Now you can select a unit from the trigger or use a blackboard name if you have one set up. And then you can select the AI team. Now it's very important to note that you do need to select the appropriate player team in order for AI to populate in this list. So because we don't have any AI groups set up here in the blue team, there are no options for us. So those are two ways that you can add a unit to an AI group. Now the last thing we're going to cover in this video are the different options available to you for AI tasks. So here are the brief rundowns. None. As the name implies, the unit does nothing. This is useful if you want, the, want to group units for a task that you will later execute using an effect. Attack nearest. Again, quite straightforward. The AI group will attack the nearest hostile unit, whether they have vision or not. This works across the map unless you set a maximum distance through this setting here. Patrol area. As of this video, this doesn't work right now. I've put in a couple bug support tickets for this, but hopefully this gets working and I will produce a specific AI video for this if that happens. And I'm sure it will. Aristocrats, I see you doing amazing things. Move to location. Functionally, this works exactly like unit order move effect over in triggers. The main difference is this has the addition of combat stances. Personally, I've not seen those have any effect on functionality. Even if using hold fire, the enemy still attacks if the attack move option is checked. Defend location. This one is quite cool. You set a radius to defend. And if enemies within line of sight enter it, then the AI group will attack. By default, only the ones within line of sight attack. If you want the entire group to attack once an enemy is spotted, then you'll need to enable stick together. The reason why it's cool 
is that if you break line of sight without attacking, then the defenders will return to their original position. In addition, they will spread out in that radius to cover all the areas in there. So they'll spread out somewhat evenly. Idle. Similar to the move to location task, but here the combat stances actually impact behavior. Aggressive, defend position, and default. Cause the enemy to engage in combat, while hold position and hold fire cause them to not move when attacked. The aggro as group setting works a lot like stick together, where all the units in the group attack when an enemy is spotted. Some final notes. These tasks can be set from the AI menu or can be set on an existing AI group by using a trigger effect. called AI Team Task Set. This is where you can set a new task for a team. Functionally, it's exactly the same, but using the effect can be more flexible since it can modify the behavior based on certain conditions. That's all that I have here for you today. And be sure to check out the official Terran Command Discord for any assistance that you need, or check out my own Discord, both linked in the description below. Thank you all, and catch you later.